Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you that how can you create a list of hyperlinked sheet names in Excel? And we're going to do that using Power Query and some Excel formulas. So let's just take a look at the Excel file that I have here. So in this Excel file, I have uh, six odd sheets here named as different, different regions. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a list of sheet index which is where I click on the sheet name and it takes me to that sheet. Now imagine that you have an Excel file with maybe 50 or 60 sheets. And in that case, it is going to be a lot more easier if you do have a navigator or a sheet index, which is where you click on the sheet name and it navigates to that sheet. Your work is going to become a lot more easier navigating through that large Excel workbook with many sheets. So um, let's see how can we do that using Power Query. So I'm just going to go to data and get data from the workbook now which workbook is this the current workbook in which I am working so from workbook and I'm just gonna pick up the workbook which is on my desktop now as soon as I pick up the workbook in the navigator of power query it shows me the names of all the sheets that I have but actually I'm not interested in the data kept on that sheet I just want to take out the name of that sheet right so what I'll do is instead of navigating to a particular sheet I'll pick up the entire Excel file now, there could be a possibility that your Power Query is not allowing you to select this option, the folder or the file option. In that case, for the moment, you can pick up the sheet name and then proceed ahead. So I click here and then I click on edit. This opens up the Power Query editor. Now in the editor, if you did choose on the sheet name, what you would see is that the data of that sheet is going to be loaded in front of you with the source step and a couple of maybe extra steps. So what you got to do is you got to delete those steps and come back to the source step so that you and I are on the same page. Now what I could see here in front of me is the names of the sheets uh, and the data, the item, the kind and the hidden property of that sheet. Is that hidden or is that visible? As of now, you are just seeing the sheet here, but there could also be a possibility that you have a table in Excel. There could also be a possibility that you have a defined name in Excel. So just to be foolproof, what I will do is on the kind, I will apply a filter which is equals to sheet. Right now, this will only pick up the sheets and not the table, not the defined names. I'm just gonna take the name of the sheet and delete the rest of the columns. I don't need them. Um, so I'll just say remove all the other columns that I have and I will just close and load this data into Excel. So close and load, this data would now come to Excel. Now note that um, as soon as I save this file, I press Control S and I save the file and I refresh my query. Uh, what is going to happen is that since now you have an additional sheet which is called sheet 7 being added to your uh, Excel file, as soon as you refresh this, it will also get the name of a sheet number 7 in the list here. But this is not what we want because this is exactly where our index is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rename this sheet and call this as an index. Now. I'll go back to my query and I'll remove uh, the index sheet forever from the list that gets created. That means that I want a list of all the sheets which is other than the index sheet. So I just go back to the query. All right. So I apply another filter and I say that uh, text filters and should not be equal to does not equal to the word index. I N D E X. Press OK and I'm just going to close and load this file. All right. Now, when I save this earlier, I hadn't saved it. So it's still showing sheet number seven. Now, when I save this, this will change to uh, index and the index will be removed from uh, the list. So I refresh it. The index is gone, right? All right. Now that we have the names of the sheets here, what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a hyperlink that links back to every sheet. So let's just give this a title called hyperlink. So I'll use hyperlink. It asks me, hey, where is the link location? All right, so I go to navigate to the north sheet. So what I'll say is that I'll just add a, a hash sign uh, before the sheet name and that will allow us to establish a clickable link to the sheet name north. And then I'll add a single apostrophe. I'll close that, put an and symbol, link the sheet put the inverted commas, the double quotes, uh, actually I have to put an and symbol here as well. So the um, double quotes, single apostrophe, the exclamation mark, and then I'll say, hey, why don't you go to the cell A1 of that sheet? 
in fact let me just write it here only a one of that sheet let's just see if that works now it has created a link here let's just see by clicking to the link does it go back to a1 or not yes it does go back to a1 of the not sheet now if i come back here now this link looks dirty so i can also give it a friendly name so you can just see that they have a friendly name so let the friendly name be the name of the sheet itself and now it just creates a good enough links so that when you click on the link it just goes back to that sheet right now this entire exercise is completely futile unless you have like a link uh, on every single of these sheets which links back to the index sheet right all right so here is the formula that links us back to all the sheets i've quickly written that and i'm just going to copy this formula and paste this formula on all the sheets now pasting the formula on all the sheets could be a tricky task in case you have 50 or 60 sheets so i'm just going to play a trick so i press ctrl c here and then i select all the sheets so i press the shift key i select all the sheets until international i go to the first cell press the f2 key paste the formula right here press enter and there is an index created now when i go back here uh, let's just delete this we don't need it here now when i go back here and i click on west i go to the west which is where i have the link if i do click on the link i come back to my index now this can be very very handy in case you have a large workbook where you have to navigate between the sheets uh, very very often all right that's about it in case you have any questions please feel free to put down a comment i'll be more than happy to help you out and thanks for watching take care of yourselves Bye bye